Yo, what's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to share with you my own personal practice drill when it comes to uh, packet counting, like Elmsley counts, Jordan counts, and even a fair count. I don't know if I came up with this particular practice drill, but it's uh, it's one that I use a lot, and it's actually really fun to do and fun to practice. And at the same time, it gets you really good at the actual counts that you're doing. Come to think of it, I never even do a pack of tricks, so all my Elmsley count and Jordan count practice, it really goes to waste. I propose we do more pack of tricks on this channel. Let's get into it. All right, so here is this awesome practice drill that I'm very excited to share with you. So all you need for this practice drill is four cards uh, from the deck. It doesn't have to be four of a kind or anything. It can be any four cards. It can be add cards, jokers. It doesn't matter. Okay, so the practice drill will be this. It'll be three counts just over and over. It just, it just revolves in a circle over and over. It's, it's never ending. Uh, the first one will be a legitimate fair count. The second will be an Elbsley count. And the third will be the Jordan count. And the purpose of this little exercise in this um, drill is to make all your counts look the same as your legitimate count. And this is a great way to do it. All right, so what you're gonna do is take all the cards face down and you'll turn the second one, the second one from the top, face up. Okay, so what you're going to do is just do a fair legitimate count. Reverse the order of the cards into your hand like this, uh, fairly. Now there's a bunch of ways to count cards into your hand, but what you wanna do is make it look the same as the Elmsley count or make the Elmsley count look the same as your fair count vice versa, right? So you wanna match every action. Um, you wanna match the fair actions with the fake actions, right? So that's just called, that's a whole goal. You wanna make everything look natural, right? So, or at least, you know, the same, okay? So again, with this fair count is just, you want to make, you act like you're doing an Elmsley count at first. So you're just like this and make it look like you're doing an Elmsley count. And so when you do the Elmsley count, they won't know the difference, right? And that's called magic. So here we are again. Now a good tip for you when you're doing any type of count is instead of doing a two beat move, because normally you have the cards held in your dealer's grip hand like this, and then you transfer it to your pinch grip, in, into your pinch grip Elmsley count hand, and then you take a card off it. But that's a two beat thing, right? So you're here, boom. Boom, it's always a two beat thing, but you can avoid that two beat and just transfer it to a one beat. So the way you do that is this. As you bring the packet over to your hand, and as soon as you touch the packet with that hand, you already have the card in your hand that you need. All right, and the way you're doing that is you plant your thumb on top of the back of the card like this, and with an upward pressure with your index finger on the edge of the packet here, you want to just slide your thumb across diagonally to the direction of maybe the middle knuckle of your index finger there and just slide a card off, okay? And that card, you get a single card doing that with the upper pressure of your uh, index finger. So it's like this, you can see that happening. You're just sliding one card off with the aid of your index finger, sort of a guide, right? So you just get one card and you do that as you bring the packet over. So as soon as you touch the packet, there's already a card in your hand. And that's a lot better than doing this, right? To start the count. I mean, that's not bad necessarily, but I think this is a lot smoother, right? It just, it feels nice. It's effective. Um, but sometimes when you do that two beat method, it, it just seems like you're going to do something sneaky. But if you do this, it doesn't seem like anything's gonna happen. It just seems like you're just putting a card there, right? So just practice this a while until you get used to that, uh, until you get used to it. I think it's uh, I think it's pretty smooth. So when you do the fair count, that face up card will be in position for the Elmsley count, okay? So I've taught the Elmsley count before on this channel. Um, I've made a whole video of just a bunch of different counts that you can do uh, with with uh, tutorials, and I'll leave that link down below uh, so you can watch that. So after the fair count, you will do the Elmsley count, like I said, and uh, you want to make it look the same as your fair count, like I said. And this is the whole purpose of this drill, so you can really focus on that. So again, you're here to do that move, like I taught you, right? So you, you just come over and do the Elmsley count, just as, just like you just do that fair count. So after the Elmsley, 
the face-up card will be on the bottom of the packet now in position for the Jordan count. So the Jordan count just hides the face-up card on the bottom. I've taught it on that same video. So, so come over and just do the Jordan count. And um, it should look the same as the Elmsley and the fair count. So at this point, it'll be back to where it was in the Elmsley position. So now to repeat the whole process and to keep it going without any, you know, stalling, turn the whole packet over and repeat it again with the fair count and everything is uh back where it started right with the face with the face down version although this time you're doing it face up so again you do your absolute count like this and then everything is the same do your uh do your jordan count and uh, you, you keep going on forever like this turn the packet face down do your fair count do your uh Elmsley count Jordan and then turn the packet over repeat everything fair count and you can go on forever like this and that's a great practice drill to get really good at your uh, your packet counting all right guys so as always thank you so much for taking the time out of your hectic busy day to watch this little video it means the world to me and if you learned something new if you got value out of this video do me a huge favor and smack that like button's ass <laughs> Until next time, happy practicing. I love you guys.